A colossal shadowy expanse, identified as a coronal hole, has emerged near the sun's equatorial region, giving rise to a temporary opening through which remarkably swift solar wind is hurtling towards Earth. A massive void on the sun's surface, recognized as a coronal hole, has developed, emitting potent torrents of exceptionally fast radiation, referred to as solar wind, directly towards our planet. Scientists note that the size and alignment of this ephemeral gap, exceeding the breadth of 60 Earths, mark an unprecedented occurrence at this juncture of the solar cycle. The gargantuan darkened area on the Sun, designated as a coronal hole, materialized around December 2nd near the Sun's equator, rapidly expanding to its peak width of approximately 497,000 miles, 800,000 kilometers, within a mere 24 hours, as reported by spaceweather.com. Since December 4th, this solar void has been squarely aimed at Earth. Initial projections by experts suggested that this recent aperture might incite a moderate G2 geomagnetic storm, potentially leading to radio disruptions and vibrant auroral exhibitions for the ensuing days. However, the intensity of the solar wind has fallen short of expectations, resulting in a relatively mild G1 storm according to spaceweather.com. Nevertheless, there remains a possibility of auroras occurring at high latitudes. The duration of the hole's presence on the sun remains uncertain, although historical data from National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration indicates that previous coronal holes persisted beyond a singless solar rotation, 27 days. Nonetheless, the hole is expected to rotate away from Earth in the near future, Coronal holes materialize when the magnetic fields stabilizing the sun suddenly unravel, causing the sun's upper layer contents to stream away in the form of solar wind, as explained by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. These holes appear as darkened patches due to their cooler and less dense nature compared to the surrounding plasma. Similar to sunspots, coronal holes are imperceptible unless observed in ultraviolet light. Radiation emanating from coronal holes surpasses the speed of conventional solar wind, often inducing disturbances in Earth's magnetic shield, leading to geomagnetic storms, notes no AA. The most recent coronal hole, appearing in March, generated the most potent geomagnetic storm on Earth in over six years. Despite the ongoing escalation of solar activity as the sun approaches the climax of its approximately 11-year solar cycle, recognized as the solar maximum, an unexpected development has unfolded. The colossal new coronal hole does not align with the anticipated increase in solar activity. Coronal holes can manifest at any point in the solar cycle, but they are typically more prevalent during solar minimum, according to NO AA, when they do surface during solar maximum. They are usually situated near the sun's poles rather than the equator. The emergence of such a vast hole near the equator during the proximity to solar maximum poses a puzzling conundrum. Nevertheless, in recent weeks, various indicators have emerged, signaling heightened solar activity. On November 18th, a massive sunspot archipelago, composed of at least five distinct sunspot groups, emerged on the sun's visible side subsequently releasing numerous solar storms into space. On November 25th, an explosive eruption termed a canyon of fire near the sun's equator launched a coronal mass ejection, CME, a swiftly moving mass of magnetized plasma that collided with Earth, prompting rare orange auroras. Additionally, on November 28th, an almost X-class solar flare erupted from the sun giving rise to a cannibal CME that struck Earth, triggering a geomagnetic storm and illuminating lower latitudes with auroras throughout the weekend. The recent upswing in solar activity likely signifies that the solar maximum is imminent. In October, scientists adjusted their solar cycle forecasts, now anticipating the onset of the explosive peak in early 2024.